Yo, what's good people? Obviously DJ Kenny here right now representing the mixtape madness team and we're here for a special, it's not really a hot seat, but we're here in the studio 55 Box Park, Shoreditch High Street, and we're just doing a little special. We've got two special hot artists down here tonight. I'm gonna get the first one in a minute, so I'm just getting you lot prepared. Remember, it's gonna be a big visual, we're just gonna chill out with them, and yeah, get it cracking, isn't it? So, right now, we're just gonna go get the first artist for tonight by the name of Smiler. Check out his mixtape, all I know, on mixtapemanage.co.uk. I'm about to get him right now, we we'll just speed up a little bit here. Yeah? Obviously right now we've got Smiler here. What do you say, bro? Yeah, right. Good. Yeah. So obviously mixtape madness. It's a good look. Obviously you've got your mixtape right now. We're going to talk about that. But how are you feeling though? I'm good, man. Yes. I'm enjoying the red. I know, I know. You're a busy guy, isn't it? Just going for yeah. touring now. Definitely. But you know what? We're going to chill if you don't mind. Obviously with that. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to 55, well, Box 55, um, DSL. Obviously we're going to get this cracking, isn't it? I'm getting that ends of feeling Corset, short dresses and my men's are feeling Bottles popping off, the corks fly in the air Like bow and arrow, the girl in the cut inviting me there singing I'm like, hi yo, what's up? I came in to boogie you and your girlies eyeing me up I can read your mind, you're making it easy for me You ain't got to say your word, you're eyes are Alright, what's good people? I'm feeling very presidential right now I'm sitting next to one of the hottest artists in the UK Definitely got mad street heat, plus there's buzz all across the country, you're saying a lot. I'm joined by none other than Smiler. What are you saying, brother? Cool, bro. Yeah, definitely. Firstly, I've got to talk to you about the mobile tour. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I, I've been following a few artists on that, and it's going down. Yeah, and obviously, I know you've been doing a few breaks on that. Yeah, I did that. every time you should be doing every yeah, single day. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. and not all artists are on every single day, are they? Myself, Clement Marfo, yeah, yeah. Leisha, Cleo, yeah. so good every day. So that you're one of the lucky artists. Yeah. How did that go down? Like, what, what did the lady say? I know you, you touched some cities. Uh, <laughs> you know what, to be honest, um, all around it was a sick experience, man. Yeah. It was like my first proper tour, yeah. you know, and um, I was looking forward to getting out on the road and meeting a lot of different people in different cities and just seeing how crowds outside of London yeah, yeah. take to what I'm doing, you know, because it hasn't really been tested yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and obviously that like you came up from obviously the streets of London and all of that. So does it feel a bit weird when you're coming outside London and you're doing like a few different things that like, not really as mainstream as such, but like not what you were used to from back in the day? Like? Um, I wouldn't say it feels weird. Um, to be honest, it's you know it's everything that I signed up for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know this this is exactly where I wanted to go with. I wanted to take my sign transatlantic and. You know, see what's happening outside of my demographic, and you know, it's really push my sound everywhere. So I enjoy yeah. it, man. Yeah, and obviously you've got the mixtape out, which you're doing a lot. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but we've got that popping off there. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got a little sat in there for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. we just listened to your mixtape before yeah. you came in. Exactly. Um, yeah. All I know yeah. is a, it's a big mixtape right yeah. now. Appreciate that, it's circulating mixtape, man, as we support that. Yeah. Um, obviously, how did how did that come along, yeah. like the mixtape, like? Because it seems like you proper thought about the tracks. You know some mixtapes that artists tend to just fling yeah. tunes on, just fling it on, no real structure to it. How did that mixtape come along? I feel for me it was um it was more because I'd sort of in effect in a lot of people's eyes been away since 2010 when I did clarity. Yeah. You know, I, I had to come back and show what I've been working on also put my best foot forward in terms like, I mean I've got a lot of strong tracks in my opinion. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've held some back for the album. You know, but I felt that this body of work was, was perfect for the time period that you know that we're in at the moment and the situation at hand. You know, so I feel like collectively, it's somewhere between a mixtape and an album. Yeah. You know, that's why I didn't put too many tracks on there. If you look at the musical omnibus, which was my first mixtape, mixed by 279 in 2007, and 35 tracks, and I feel like the industry has come a long way since then, and I feel like people's attention spans are no longer as as long as they were before. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't want to give them too much, but I just wanted to give them quality. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Yeah, you kept it, you kept it short, but obviously yeah. quality control was in that mixtape. Yeah. That's the most important thing. And another thing, I was watching, um, literally casually just watching the TV and it skip, skip past BET. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do I see on there doing yeah, the yeah, side yeah, for yeah, representing the yeah. UK? Yeah. I see you alongside Biggs, Roxanne, 
G Fresh Chippy proper put in the UK on the map. Now I had like I don't know if you can tell me how it came along but like like how did it feel for you to be on such a platform where the whole world is watching the UK and you're representing the, the flying the flag. How did that feel? It was pretty phenomenal for me because I mean, you know, over the years I've been watching BT Cyphers and it's one of those moments that in the year, you know, just like a mobile awards or a Grammy Awards, you kind of take your evening off yeah, to yeah. make sure you don't miss it. So to be part of that and also, you know, everybody that was part of the cypher mm. is pretty much flying the flag for the UK. So to be mentioned in the same breath and to be thought about it. And this was like just before I think I tied a message. But just after actually, just after I signed my deal as well. So yeah, it, it, it meant a lot to be put on this sort of Yeah, yeah. And obviously everything's going good with the deal, like you're enjoying yeah, yeah, you're enjoying yeah. your music and that. Yeah, yeah, and it shows through your music, yeah. that's the most important thing. But like obviously as a young young, young child, yeah, yeah, growing up, like not many people, successful artists, yeah. saw themselves in ten years' time like being where they are. So let's say let's take it back to that like, maybe when you were like 13, 14. Did you in like what ten years time see you were gonna be at, at the stage that you was gonna be at? No way. I mean I've always been pretty ambitious but I couldn't have told you back then um, you know what field I would have ended up in or where I wanted to be. That's still sort of that transitional period between my dad telling me that he's pretty sure I'm gonna be a doctor and me deciding that I'm sick of school. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. you know things were I wouldn't say they were bleak, but I was pretty indecisive at the time. A lot of my brethren just started to drop out of school, started shutting and doing other little things and you know, I kind of found myself a little way with it. My attention span was shrinking and getting shorter and shorter. Yeah. You know, so I'm just I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so you pop off like found where you were going. Yeah, totally. And you didn't get sidetracked. You still sometimes get sidetracked like now. No, I definitely got sidetracked. Yeah. But I like to think everything I got involved in was for the greater good. You know, I've never been a follow fashion or someone that wanted to do it because everybody else was doing it. So yeah. if, if I did decide I was going to get into something, I always had a bigger picture. Yeah, definitely. So like, um, currently right now, how do you move on from such a success from off your mixtape? And, and obviously it's, it's been an overwhelming past year for you, obviously getting signed and that. Like, how do you move on? Like, what is your next step from here? I mean, I like to think I'm gonna go on to make bigger and better music. Yeah. Even what I've created for the album so far, in my opinion, I'm I'm, I'm just excited to get it out. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot of songs that I've had for a while, mm -hmm. like tonight, part one at the end of the mixtape. Yeah. That's actually a trilogy. It's a three-part series. But, really? Uh, yeah. I want to put the first part on the mixtape because I wanted to leave people wanting a bit more, yeah. and it's proven to be a favorite. So, yeah, you know, I'm just looking forward to giving the best of myself. You know, I, like how I pride myself is that by the end of listening to you know one of my CDs. It almost feels like I've emptied myself onto the disc, yeah. and you can hear everything that Smiley's about. Yeah, of course. You know, that's, that's what I'm dying for. Definitely. And if there was anyone in the UK industry that you would probably work with, you probably get this question a lot, but it's important yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. you have to reach out to certain people. If there are anyone, right, let's not be typical of that, but up and coming, you would say that, yeah, he's a young buck, maybe one day you can move here at the top, we'll get collected to anyone. Because the UK seems quite big, obviously. Yeah, I mean, to, to be fair, anybody that, you know, I mean, I pay close attention. I watch Grand Daily a lot, I watch YouTube a lot, I want to see yeah. what's happening. I want to see who's, you know, parallel to myself and who's on the rise and mm. who's sick but hasn't got the avenue yet or the, the platform to express themselves. And anybody that I feel, I, I've already reached out to. Okay. You know, there's yeah. um, a little kid that I saw on, um, on Twitter mm. called Boy Rage and he was doing a couple of little things. And, yeah. You know, I, I checked some of these links and he did a version of Castle Heart. Yeah, yeah. You know, I clicked in it, I thought, okay, yeah, you're good, you know, so I invited him down to the studio. Yeah. You know, we've done a track with me, and um, yeah, I'm pretty much that way inclined, you know, if I see something that, you know, that takes to me, that I take to, sorry, mm -hmm. and, you know, I feel like that the person pretty much undiscovered, like, also, do you, do you know, Kaz? Kaz, Kaz yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Joe Black looks after, by yeah, the time yeah. I did know Joe was looking after me, I reached out yeah. to Kaz, you know, so there, 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 there are a lot of talented spirits, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Kaz, shout out to all of yeah. them coming around. Big up Kaz, you stick So, um, Lastly, like, let's leave with a, a nice little positive message for the youngest. Is, if, what advice would you give to anyone up and coming that like, for music? How do they go about it, getting to the top and right. getting to your position? Like? Um, okay, I'd say primarily be real to yourself. Yeah. Know what you represent. Um, stay current, but you know also have a signature sound. Mm -hmm. Don't compromise yourself too much. Um, 
don't allow your head to get messed up by too many different opinions and try to satisfy too many different people. Yeah. And so I don't know what's going on, but ultimately, never, ever, as cliche as it sounds, never give up. Even when you feel like you're at your lowest head, that's probably when you're the closest to your goal, so never yeah. ever give up. Yeah, that learn from the pencil of himself. Smart has said that. Yeah. But obviously, now, obviously, you've got, you've got to give the app and links to Facebook and Twitter. Where can people catch you? Find me on Twitter, Smiler Music, Facebook Smiler Official, YouTube Smiler TV, um, anything else I'm forgetting, of course, the most important, smilermusic.com, where you can yeah. grab the free download of all I know. Yeah. You've got some, some sick vlogs on there, I was on there yesterday, you've got, there yeah. um, you got uh, Messi on there. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You watch the game and all yeah, that. Messi's yeah. a big deal, man. Definitely. What, would you, would you say you're like the, the Messi of the UK? Right nah, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Well, you know, that's what we're working to. Daily there, though, God willing. Obviously, yeah, check out the blog, because there's a few, like, blogs there that are up. That's the reason to check that out. Yeah. So, um, obviously, thank you so much, Smiler. Yeah, thank you, brother. Thanks for all the support. Thank you, Tab. Mixtapebanish.co.uk. Make sure you download all and know. It's a big mixtape. We've been banging it out. Like, literally, just look at the screen. Like, we're not lying. Like, right here, just please, just go on the screen. Like, we are not lying. Like, I, I pressed that. Play mixtape. I pressed that like what five times, so I, 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 I did obviously some five views. <laughs> and obviously, keep it locked. It's been a good interview. Obviously, shout out to everyone that's following Smiler, likes the music. Keep it up in it. Mixtape Madness.co.uk, you know where it's at. Big up, Mixtape Madness School Day every day. Done.